hi guys welcome back to this channel this is doris from healthy tasting meals if you're new here you're very much welcome so this channel is all about sharing healthy recipes their nutritional content benefits and demonstrating how you can make your meal in a more healthier and tasty ways so if you're interested in what i just said please hit the subscribe button turn on the bell so you don't miss any of our recipe so today i'm going to show you how to make this delicious pizza without butter no cheese no oven even mayonnaise guys so if you're interested please keep watching and try to watch the video till the end so you don't miss any section of it so cheese is popularly used for pizza but i choose not to use cheese because i observe it has high amount of calories which is not good for me so i decide to substitute it to what is more beneficial to your system and the pizza still came out so delicious so juicy and you won't even know there is no cheese so let's start with the ingredients guys so the flour i'll be using for this pizza is a cassava flour i choose this flour because it's gluten free and i added a half teaspoon of baking soda half teaspoon of baking powder and two tablespoons of sugar so i'm going to mix it together and i'm going to also add a tablespoon of olive oil i'm not using butter guys so that because I, I don't want to add much fat to this pizza i just want to make it as healthy as it can be so you can always use your olive oil in place of butter and i added like three tablespoons of plain yogurt no added sweetener so just look out for that it's very also okay for your system because it contains probiotics that help to fight free radicals in your body so i advise you kind of use such um, sugar-free yogurt in your uh, pizza we're adding water little by little because we want to make this into dough you can just don't add the water at once so that it doesn't become too soft but if maybe you're mixing it and it gets too soft too watery you can just add little flour but i advise you just add the water little by little the way i am doing so make sure your flour is properly mixed and you kind of knead it so smoothly you should be kneading it for like uh, maybe 10 minutes so that it's properly incorporated and it's smooth like this so maybe if you feel it's too sticky for you you can maybe just touch little oil on your hand it's so smoothly like this we are done and uh, i'm going to kind of set it aside and get my sauce ready so if you already have your prepared sauce it's just to roll it into a flat form and get your pizza going on but this i'm going to make the sauce this is um, a small size of onion uh, chili pepper one tomato and garlic like three bobs so i just want to make my own sauce but if you want to use tomato ketchup please try to read the content to be sure of what you're eating but i strongly advise you always make your sauce with all these natural ingredients it doesn't take time just five minutes and you are done so blend and start making the sauce so tasty pizza starts with delicious sauce guys so make your sauce as delicious as it can be with the spices you have i will believe the ones i have used here in the description box you might feel free to check that out but i will still tell you about oil guys this is just two teaspoons of olive oil some persons don't use olive oil because they use too much oil in their cooking use a healthy oil just a little quantity and your meal will still taste great you don't need the whole oil in the white tea to make your meal great guys just use good oil watch the oil you use because it might have some hazard effects on your heart my cream i started with two tablespoons of olive oil and just a quarter uh, tablespoon of cassava flour just to thicken it to create 
a paste little and add this uh, plain yogurt so i'm still going to leave the measurements in the description box feel free to check it out so I, this is a sprinkle of um, celery salt and a sprinkle of uh, brown sugar this sauce is very delicious when you are done it will taste like mild lines so with this sauce you're sure you're eating the right thing so back to our dough we want to now make it uh, into pizza shape just to give it a little kneading and try to roll it so for this um, I'm not going to make the pizza very thick so I just want to roll it so flat and again it's maybe just for myself alone so the pizza is not that much so make sure you just roll it out properly and if you find it so sticky you can sprinkle some flour on it and for my pan i added a table a teaspoon of olive oil please and that it doesn't become too sticky spread your pizza on it so just spread this my sauce gently spread it around so the good thing about this is that you prepare the sauce you're sure of the ingredient you're using 100% organic ingredient so look at the cream guys it looks so beautiful and so delicious so just prepare your sauce like this instead of using uh, cheese or some of those mayonnaise there that has loads and loads of salt but if you must use cheese please look out for the one that has low calories so this is how I garnish my uh, pizza, uh, slices of green pepper, tomatoes, onions, and this is a sprinkle of carrots and black pepper. See, I've burn out, kind of put it down, place it, and after 15 minutes, your pizza should be ready, guys. And this pizza tastes really amazing. It's not a joke. And I'm so happy it came out so beautifully this way. So if you're interested in more healthy recipes, just hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell and also let me know in the comment section what you think about this pizza. I will see you again in my next video. Bye.